morning, everyone. My name is Asase Jewel, and today I'll be analyzing a TED Talk by Yasmin Abdel Majid. Abdel Majid speaks about hats as a metaphor for identity and those in turn attract bias. Her hats include a race car engineer and designer, a boxer, head of an oil rig, and her most obvious is her Muslim faith. Yasmin also brings up the blind audition tactic used by the Boston Symphony in 1952. This was an experiment conducted to prove that women were just as good, or even better in some cases, against their male counterparts. This showed that the, their anonymity tripled their chances of getting into the orchestra. The results of this blind audition proved that eliminating bias has a positive effect on the workforce, and Yasmin claims that the solution to ending unconscious bias is mentoring so that everyone has equal opportunities. Yasmin is a Sudanese Egyptian Muslim woman who migrated to Australia. Her diverse background leave many odds stacked against her in the fight against implicit prejudice. However unfortunate her circumstances may seem, her firsthand experience gives her, a, gives her a unique outlook. And this positive outlook for the future and her personal connection to the unconscious bias issue helps shape young minds around her and it also helps her acknowledge the difficulty of eliminating unconscious bias. In 1952, the groundbreaking results of the blind auditions made many acknowledge their unconscious bias. And this shone a light on how much leaving bias behind can do for women in the workforce. A more recent example is the Australian National University's 2010 study on the impact of bias. This was a, this was a study where 4,000 applications were sent out to see people's hiring odds against people with an Anglo-Saxon last name. So if you were Chinese, you had to send out about 68% more applications. If you were Middle Eastern, you had to send out 64% more applications. And if you were Italian, you had to send out 12% more applications. So as you can see, your opportunities can decrease due to bias. But for a better future, Abdel Majid encourages everyone to mentor so that we all have equal opportunities. Her futuristic view could create a world with a level playing field for all. So from 1952 to 2010, not much changed. Women and minorities still struggle to find work due to unconscious bias. But by understanding Yasmin's point of view and taking the effort to meet and understand different people around you, we could one day have a world where everyone has equal opportunities in all aspects of life. And this is a clip of Yasmin and her take on change and diversity. You might think that diversity has nothing to do with you, but we are all part of the system and we can all be part of that solution. And if you don't, and I'm just going to add it in conclusion because I didn't in the beginning. But um, in conclusion, I just believe all of us should step outside of our comfort zone and I challenge everyone to talk to somebody they did it, aka I talked to Denise, but she made me that today because she went first. <laughs>